Welcome to all NFL fans. We request you to please like this video and subscribe our channel so you will be updated with all NFL news. The Seahawks are declining their fifth-year option on starting inside linebacker Jordan Brooks, a source told ESPN's Jeremy Fowler on Monday. Exercising Brooks' option would have locked him into a fully guaranteed $12.722 million salary for 2024. Instead, he will enter the final year of his rookie contract, which has a base salary of just under $2.28 million. Tuesday is the deadline for teams to pick up fifth-year options for 2020 first-round picks. The Seahawks' decision on Brooks, chosen 27th overall out of Texas Tech, does not come as a surprise given their history and the fact that he's coming off reconstructive knee surgery. Brooks, 25, became a starter early in his rookie year and then set the Seahawks' single-season record for tackles in 2021 with 183, which was the second most in the NFL that year and the second most of any player since 2000. He was having a similarly productive season last year before he tore his ACL in Week 17, which puts his availability for the start of the 2023 season in question. In 47 regular season games, Brooks has recorded 402 tackles, 2 sacks, 12 passes defensed, 15 tackles for loss, and 1 forced fumble. The Seahawks have now declined the fifth-year options on all six of the eligible first-round picks they have made since the options were instituted in the last collective bargaining agreement. Guard James Carpenter, outside linebacker Bruce Irvin, right tackle Jermaine Ifedi, running back Rashad Penny, defensive end LJ Collier, and Brooks. However, they exercised tight end Noah Fant's fifth-year option last April after acquiring him from the Denver Broncos in the Russell Wilson trade. With Brooks coming off his knee injury, Seattle brought back Bobby Wagner and signed Devin Bush Jr. in free agency. Both are on one-year deals, meaning the Seahawks' top three inside linebackers are all scheduled to become unrestricted free agents next March. They did not select any inside linebackers in this year's draft.